Ever since Rise of Kingdoms revealed the new Archer Garrison Commander, there's been a lot of discussion around Mighty Healing, because if you guys missed my video covering this new Archer Garrison, the active skill says that this commander is going to be dealing damage based on the number of units it's capable of healing. And so a lot of people have been wondering just how powerful a mechanic like this could possibly be in Rise of Kingdoms. So today, I'm happy to announce that I believe we figured out a good estimation for how strong Mighty Healing actually is so that way we can extrapolate out how much damage this new commander might do depending on the numbers that we still don't have for their active skill but first what's going on guys cheers okay now before we go any further I want you guys to notice that I got my Gajamata to level 60 with full six star investment and I did that just for the purposes of this video I have no intention of using him so I literally took all those stars and all that experience and threw it in the garbage and so I hope you guys will drop a thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing because a lot of time in effort goes into making videos like this also this video would not be possible if it weren't for speco who is the developer of the rock battle simulator he is much better at math than me and so when i was trying to figure out the formula for mighty healing i had to reach out to him to have him help me figure out what the actual formula is so i can't stress this enough i would not be able to make this video without him i'm going to link his patreon down below if you want access to the rock battle simulator you can find it down there i don't get paid for that or anything like that it's just to support him and his projects and he has a lot in the works so if you appreciate the rock battle simulator and all the other work that he does for the community consider supporting him down below and just for full transparency here okay the reason that i even had to rely on speco to begin with is because i'm in a content creator discord for rise of kingdoms right and there's dedicated support in there and i reached out to support and said hey can you just tell me like what what is mighty healing like what's going on here we don't have any definition and their actual response i'm gonna just read it right here hello compared with regular healing healing under the same coefficient the effect of mighty healing will be stronger that was their actual quote they literally said yeah mighty healing is just stronger than regular healing which like is the most useless answer because the word mighty implies strong so it's literally called strong healing so I came to the conclusion all on my own that it was stronger than healing and so I straight up asked them like okay how much better is it like I, I need some more clarification here and they refused to give me any specifics so I find it very frustrating that the developers can't just be more transparent with how these game mechanics actually work and it forces the community to sort of like brute force their way into figuring out these formulas and it's just it's just frustrating like why can't we just know what mighty healing is just can you come on like really anyway all that to say that's why I needed speco's help to figure out what mighty healing actually is okay so let's get into what we discovered about mighty healing and if you guys haven't realized by now the reason that I invested in Gaja Mata's level and stars is because I wanted to have the highest number of troops available to test out different levels of mighty healing here because right now at the time of recording this Gaja Mata is the only commander in the game that has mighty healing now the reason that the number of troops matters in your army is because of a little bit of confusion that came from this screenshot when I first reached out to speco what we can see here is two different healings occurring on the exact same turn we have YSS and we have Gajamata okay Gajamata's expertise skill triggers called Vettel Barrage sorry if I mispronounced that and as you can see when he's expertise his mighty healing factor is 600 that's important because if you have three points into medicinal supplies for Isun Sin, it is a 300 healing factor. Okay. Remember that. So when I first reached out to Speco and said, Hey, mighty healing is actually stronger than regular healing. He was confused because he showed me this battle log and said, Gajamata's 600 mighty healing factor healed 426 units and medicinal supplies, 300 healing factor healed 213 units. And so this is literally 50%, right? 50% of 600 is 300. And so 50% of 426 is 213. And so looking at this, you would say, okay, well, there's literally no difference between mighty healing and regular healing because it scales one to one, but that's not the case. You'll notice in this screenshot, this army has 18,620 units. And what Speco discovered is that if your army has under 20,000 units, approximately, then mighty healing and regular healing function pretty much exactly the same which is interesting but it's not that useful of information because how often is your army going to be under 20,000 units pretty much never right so then I did a little bit of testing on my own and of course my gosh Amada only has one skill point in that skill so my healing factor mighty healing factor is 200 and I shared with him that when I had 213,000 units in my army 
I healed 1069 units with the mighty healing. Now, the reason that that's weird is because we actually already know the healing formula in Rise of Kingdoms for regular healing. Okay. It's highlighted here in blue and if the commander has some sort of healing increase right like Richard's fourth skill for example then you take this number and you multiply it by this formula here basically the healing amount times one point whatever the percentage is of the healing so for Richard it's 30 percent so 1.3 and that's how you get the actual healing amount so if we take all the relevant numbers from this battle report and we pull it into a spreadsheet you'll see that with 213,108 units and with Gajamata's healing factor of 200 and with the base health of tier one siege which is what I used in that example being 120 we can take the square root of the number of units that we had on that turn plug it into our healing formula and we would expect to have 769 healing on that turn but remember we didn't we had 1069 so from this battle log we can see that when you have a normal number of troops like 213,000, that's a completely normal number of troops to expect to be in an army right you see that the mighty healing factor is actually higher than the 769 we would expect okay and this is kind of what led us down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out what mighty healing actually is how much stronger is it and why is it a one-to-one -one ratio under 20,000 units but it's not a one to one ratio when we're talking about 200,000 units. So that's when Speco started testing troop numbers in increments of 20,000. Now, as you can see here, the numbers aren't perfectly even. And that's because Gajamata has a 10% chance of proccing his mighty healing factor. So it's like impossible to get exactly 20,000 troop increments. But what you can see here is that every single time that we go above 20,000 units, you'll see that the ratio from what we expect to be healed from the regular healing formula and how much was actually healed on Gajamata's army you'll see that as the number of troops increases the more the ratio increases as well and in fact it's about 0 0.04 for every 20,000 more troops that you have in your army and so with this information and it's worth noting of course that this only goes up to 200,000 and we'll talk about that in just a minute but with this information Speco was able to approximate and I want to be very clear here this is an approximate formula for mighty healing factor okay it is not the exact formula because the numbers don't come out exactly but it does show up within you know a few healing points with a small margin of error and so we have a decent idea as to how mighty healing actually works in rise of kingdoms and for those of you that are curious this is the conclusion that he came to so basically you take the normal healing formulas okay and then you multiply it by this new what i guess we'll call the mighty healing factor coefficient okay and you get something extremely close to the actual mighty healing factor and like i said it's it's within a few points of what we actually see in game so we know that certainly this isn't actually the formula but it's so close that we can at least use it to speculate as to how good mighty healing might actually be on this new garrison commander but since Speco only tested up to 200,000 units I was curious to know if that sort of beta rough estimate formula would hold true for much higher troop counts and so the highest number of troops that I could get in my army with my Gajamata again I had to bring him up to level 60 and everything to do this but it was 430,000 troops on on turn four and we did proc the mighty healing of 1282 units and so with our new approximate mighty healing estimate formula okay we could see that a regular heal for this should have been 701 but it was actually 1282 and the formula that speco provided gave us 1277 okay so it is five points off but it's really close and what we can see here is that mighty healing is about 83 percent better than regular healing or what we would expect from regular healing with this number of troops okay just to recap because we've gone over a lot in this video so far mighty healing seems to get stronger and stronger in proportion to how many units are actually capable of being healed now the reason that we're even talking about this to begin with is like I mentioned at the beginning of the video this new archer garrison is going to be dealing a true damage based on a percentage of the number of units that it is capable of healing okay a lot of people are so confused about the wording here when I feel like I, this is so clear okay the healing strength is not this isn't some arbitrary special like unit that we can't we pull out of nowhere no healing strength is equal to how many units 
you are capable of healing okay that's it it is equal to equal to the number of units you're capable of healing so if this procs when you have 50 percent troops remaining you're going to get a full heal there because you're, you have half your garrison that is empty you can heal as many troops as is capable okay but if your garrison's at you know 99.9 percent .9 and you proc a healing you're still going to get the maximum heal strength because it's about capability of healing not how many you actually heal so that's very clear now true damage also for some reason this is very confusing to people but it shouldn't be okay the number of damage that this deals will be equal to this heal strength okay it's it's just that simple it's they're not going to plug this into the battle formula or anything like that your attack doesn't matter your damage bonuses don't matter the enemy's defense doesn't matter none of that actually matters because it's true damage it tells you that right here okay so this is very cut and dry we understand unless this is worded wrong okay unless this is actually worded incorrectly we understand the damage formula pretty much for this commander now that we know the way that mighty healing works approximately and i want to again i'm going to be very clear this is an estimate and remember this is a five target aoe by the way so i wanted to plug some higher units into this mighty healing factor formula okay because i'm obviously if as a garrison commander you're gonna have way more than 400 000 units hopefully in your garrison when these things happen now the downside of this is that we don't actually know what the healing factor is going to be or so i should say the mighty healing factor is going to be for this new commander and that that makes all the difference and so in this video we're going to plug in some different numbers and we're going to play with the formula a little bit to sort of understand how good this commander could possibly be okay so with two million units and a 1000 healing factor and a base health now this is your standard tier five archer okay because this is an archer commander your basic tier five archer with a 212 base health is going to get you a expected healing if, if this was normal regular healing factor it would be six six seventy one but we know that that's not the case so if we kind of take what we know from this formula then the mighty healing factor is going to be thirty three thousand, which is actually insane it is almost 400 percent better than regular healing okay and again the way that we arrived here is through the normal healing formula okay that's how we got this number and then we multiply that by the mighty healing formula that speco provided and we get a really high healing factor here like really high okay now let me just put in one caveat here because this is also very important remember how I said at 20,000 units the mighty healing factor and regular healing factor turn out to be a one-to-one -one ratio they're identical at 20,000 units it is also possible that there is a ceiling for mighty healing factor and how far it can stray away from regular healing factor right like this could be a runaway exponential like insane number if we talk about really high unit counts right and so it's possible and we won't be able to test this until the garrison comes into the game but it's possible that they cap this at like 200 percent or something like that like that's also possible we have no idea but as far as these formula that we know this formula works up until 430,000 units okay so at the very least the cap is higher than 83 percent okay but there's a few other things we have to consider for example the fourth skill says that it increases all healing this commander's troop receives and what we know from the primary skill is that this includes any bonuses to healing okay so this fourth skill whatever the percentage is here it's going to increase the heal strength and therefore it's going to increase the true damage of the active skill and so we already kind of know because of Richard what this skill might look like okay so if we use Richard as an example he has healing on his active skill and he has a bonus to healing on his fourth skill and he also has two of the same exact talent trees as this new archer commander so I thought let's just plug Richard's number into this new archer garrisons formula and see what we might expect so in this instance I'm assuming 2.9 million units okay so this would be like if your pass is getting rallied or your fort is getting rallied or something like that and this new archer garrison commander has a 1400 healing factor again we're just taking this from Richard we're just plugging it in here base health of tier five archers okay square root of this number of units bada bing bada boom we don't have an actual number because the commander's not in the game yet but what we would expect from the regular healing formula here would be 11,246 but remember Richard's fourth skill and by extension we're plugging that into this new archer would be a 30 percent bonus okay we see that on this skill and so we would expect the actual healing to be 14,620 
for this many troops and this healing factor okay but the formula that we have for mighty healing is significantly better okay we're going from 14,600 to 98,800 okay that is nearly an 800 percent increase from a regular healing now again I want to be very clear there could be a cap here okay because that's an absurd amount of healing um they could cap this at 200 they could cap this at 100 they could cap this at 500 we have no idea we'll have to wait and see how this comes into the game but that's a lot of healing for a single turn okay that is that is a fat heal here okay now to put that number into perspective this is a screenshot of a rally that we did in Kingsland against an enemy flag and this means because it was Kingsland everyone had max crystal tech here for the rally garrison scenario but you can see that the first skill shot from Ashurbanipal against this rally was 105 472 okay and remember he has a damage factor of 1500 for that first portion of the skill shot and you can see here that I was unable to join this rally only 155,000 units could go in there so it was nearly a full rally up against this flag and so if the true damage that is dealt from this active skill is equal to the heal strength of the mighty heal then it would be 98,828 as a five target aoe okay however it says that it deals a certain percentage of this skills heal strength so if this certain percentage is 100 then it is 98,828 if it's 50 percent you would just divide that by two now you'd have to further divide that by every number of target that you're hitting times 15 percent right and so there's a lot more variables that come into play here but again remember that 98,000 healing factor is assuming that this active skill has a 1400 healing factor for the mighty heal just like Richard and a 30 percent bonus on the fourth skill just like Richard okay so all of that to say if this is a 100 percent and all the other numbers here are equivalent to Richard then we would have a pretty decent five target AoE here on this commander but you also have to keep in mind that that 98,828 healing factor comes from 2.9 million units so this is like best case scenario type of thing right so one of the things that I want to point out here is that if they do and when they do reveal these actual numbers if the active skill here or and or the fourth skill here have higher numbers than we see on Richard I think that this commander could be really really strong in terms of damage output especially for a five target AoE but it's also worth noting that people don't use Richard in garrisons because he heals so much that you actually get way more sev wounds and way more deads because of it right like the rest of his kit just isn't strong enough to compensate for the amount of extra deads and extra sev wounds that you're taking so when we're talking about a mighty healing factor that is you know 700 800 percent better than regular healing like this would be by far the best healing in the game by not and it's not even close so I really don't know how they're going to balance this right because if you want this commander to hit really hard you have to give them a really high healing factor and or a really high bonus to that healing factor on the fourth skill but if you have too much healing because it's not regular healing it's mighty healing and we kind of know the formula already if you have too much of that healing factor and bonus to healing then that garrison is going to convert slightly wounded units into sev wounds and deads at like a faster rate than we've ever seen before in rise of kingdoms and so there would be a huge trade-off there to where it's like okay you could be dealing tons of damage but you're also going to be taking a lot of extra deads and sev wounds so this is where i'm thinking like you know we could actually increase the healing strength by reducing the tier of unit which I've covered in my first video a lot of people thought that was clickbait it actually wasn't I was right but in a world where we use tier four units instead of tier five units that increase in sev wounds and deads isn't going to hurt nearly as much because it's just tier four but then you increase the probability that the garrison just gets swarmed down and so like you run into a catch 22 there as well but it's also worth noting that based on how the expertise is worded you're probably often going to have more troops than the enemy because your healing factor is going to be so insane with the mighty healing that you will probably often get this bonus to counterattack damage which is really interesting so now that we have a better understanding of how mighty healing works we'll also have a better understanding of how good this commander might be when we find out the numbers that's really what's going to change everything here and that's what I said the moment that this commander skills were revealed it's like we don't know if they're good or not depending on the numbers but now that we know how mighty healing works then we could say okay 
if this commander has similar numbers to Richard, they're going to hit really hard and heal a ridiculous amount. If the numbers are significantly worse than Richard, then I don't know, this commander might not be great. And if they're significantly better than Richard, then it's like, okay, this, this, this I mean, there's got to be a cap to the mighty healing, right? There's got to be a cap to how much it scales because otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to see what these numbers actually are for this new commander. And of course, before you invest in this commander, you obviously want to see how they're going to perform in game before you make that investment. And I always say that to everybody, like don't make an investment in a commander until you see people tested on YouTube. You see people in your kingdom tested, whatever the case might be because you don't want to be stuck investing in a commander that's not very good anyway guys i'm curious to know what you think about all of this in the comments section below do you think that this commander is going to be insane and now that you know how much better mighty healing is compared to regular healing or do you think that because you're going to be healing so much it's not going to be great for a garrison let me know in the comments section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel it's on it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.